Hello everybody, my name is Matthew White from Ingram Micro's Business Transformation Center and today we're going to be talking about WebEx calling and how to use it in a call. So when you have the calling portion of the WebEx app pulled up, so you can see that on the left hand side there you've got the actual phone icon on the bottom right corner. When you get a call you can either choose to answer or decline it. So let's go ahead and answer the call so we can actually be in the call. Once you're in there, you can see in the top right corner if there is a recording on the call. You can also set that up so where you, people can be notified if you have recording going on. Uh, on the bottom left here, you have the mute and unmute and the ability to pick your different audio sources for input and output. You also have noise removal, so you can have standard noise removal, which removes like dog barking, typing on keys, things like that. You also have optimized for my voice, which removes other people's voices in the background. So if you're in like a coffee shop and then you also have music mode, which turns off all that noise background removal. So if you wanted like music to come through your audio, you could pick that as well. You also have the ability to change your camera if you want to do on camera capabilities. And you have a standard keypad for being able to press like pound or dial an extension or things like that once you call somebody. Underneath these three dots here on the bottom, you can actually see more options. The first one of those being hold. So if you press the hold button, that call is just going to be put on hold. And you can see who that person is that called you along with resuming that call. If you click the big green button, that'll resume the call, pulling it back off a of hold. The next one down here is parking a call. So if you pick call park, you just want to make sure that these are set up by the admin. But once you have a call park established, you can see the extension that that call park is on. In this case, it's 301. And I can either choose to retrieve that call or ask somebody else to retrieve it from that, that actual extension. The next one down here is transfer. So from transfer, I can either type in the extension that I want to transfer to or the number I want to transfer to, or I can just search for the person that I want to transfer to as long as they're inside my org. From there, I can either consult for first or transfer directly to them. If I consult first, that means that the person will be that I'm currently on my call will be put on hold and the person that I'm trying to transfer to will be brought on, talk to them a little bit and then transfer the call in. You can also consult the person, so that just pulls them on your call along with the customer that you're currently talking to. And then if you do want to take this call up a notch, you can also enhance this call to a full-blown meeting. And you can that's that bottom option, invite and meet. And then once you're all done, you can just end your call by clicking the big red X.